write this equation as a product of linear factors. So what they're asking us to do is find all the zeros. It's another way of saying find all the zeros. That 4 tells you that there's, a, there's going to be exactly 4 linear factors that we can write. Exactly 4 if we count multiplicity and complex numbers. Okay, that's the fundamental theorem of algebra. So we're going to somehow write this as this equals something times something times something times something, and, and x is going to start all of these. That's what it means to write as a product of linear factors. And then we could set each of these equal to zero to find the zero. All right, so let's do that. The first thing we're going to notice is that this looks kind of like a quadratic equation, even though it's not, right? So we're going to use substitution. I'm going to let u equal x squared. It's called substitution. So this, if I were to write it in terms of u, it would be u squared, right? Plus 10u plus 9. So I just substituted it so I can more easily see how that factors. And then when I do that, I can say, oh, yeah, that's easy. This is just u plus 9 u minus 9. Whoops. u plus 9 and u plus 1. Sorry about that. u plus 9, u plus 1. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not done yet because, remember, I don't want to solve this for u. I want to solve it for x. So now let's plug this back in. x squared plus 9 and x squared plus 1. Now, this right here, if I set that equal to 0, x squared plus 9 equals 0, what would I get as my answer? Plus or minus 3. I get plus or minus 3i. Because those are, because that's not x squared minus 9, but I, that's x squared plus 9. So when I, I'd have to subtract 9, and then I, that, taking the square root of it, I'd have to introduce i into my equation. So this right here, let me erase this now, this right here is going to have the solutions x plus 3i and x minus 3i. That's the two, uh, the two um, linear factors that make up that problem. And this one, similarly, is going to be what? Plus or minus x i. x plus one. i and x minus i, exactly. So there's f of x written as a product of linear factors right there. In the next video, I'll show you how to do the opposite, how to go the reverse way, and there's a cool trick to doing that.